Hi! Um, today we have a messy plant chore to tackle. It's nothing to be too proud of, but my one of my blue star ferns has pretty much completely deteriorated. Um, I have had this um, plant for, let's see, hang on. I bought it in November, so November, December, January, February, March, April, about five months almost exactly. And um, when I brought it home late in the fall, um, I bought it at a grocery store and I couldn't believe it was $12 for this. Um, it was in like a plastic pot, of course, but it was like, you know, I had been buying smaller ones for like six, I'll get one, hang on. buying a couple of smaller ones for like six dollars and um you know I bought one for myself some for some friends um and when I saw so like six dollars right and this is a good example she's doing nice lots of little baby growth in there um I bought them on the same month too and when this one was just double the price for like so big of a plant look how big the rhizome is I had to get it but um, when I brought it home, I didn't want to repot it because it was, you know, supposedly the cold season. And um, ah, uh, so I just, I just kind of like took it up out of its pot, um, put some soil down, put it into here with all the same mix. But I think this mix isn't um, especially good for this plant. It's an epiphytic plant, so. Um, there should be some like bark, I would assume, uh, keeping it kind of airy in there so that the root system can have the moisture as well as like the oxygen that it would normally be used to if it was growing in a tree, I guess, theoretically. But this looks like it's really um, like peaty, like it's just like dusty and gross. So I am going to unpot it out of here, take away all the dead leaves, um, put it into what is essentially the same mix that I use for my philodendrons, except I'm gonna add a little bit of vermiculite because this fern seems to be more thirsty. Um, obviously it's a fern, so it's thirsty, but more thirsty than a lot of other plants. Um, so let's get going and we'll see what it looks like. We'll see if we can even see roots or anything, so.
Um, what I don't want to do is completely bury the rhizome and like suffocate it and cut off its um, access to oxygen. And like you can't see it right now, but we're going to go and rinse it and give it a really deep, really thorough watering and really saturate this dry potting medium. Um, and then when we do that, we should be able to rediscover the rhizome. I do want to continue seeing it because I feel that when I have other blue star ferns, they just grow better and look nicer when you can see their rhizome. So let's go rinse this baby off. done we've repotted um, it's still dripping off a little bit so I'm resting it on a towel Ooh. but I mean I rinsed it off I trimmed the uh, like dead ugly bits of the fronds and um, that's kind of for two reasons firstly it's an aesthetic thing like I don't want to go through all the hard work of repotting it and then have it still look ugly so it's like so much more satisfying but then secondly um just in case it was suffering from something like some kind of disease issue um and that's why it's been declining so rapidly and so steadily um if you cut it if you cut all the dead areas like up to like kind of a uniform layer like right up to the edge of the brown um, without cutting really into the green at all but if you cut it all like that uniformly, you can look at it and see like, is it getting worse? Is it continuing to brown? Are new edges becoming brown? Whatever it is, like you can just monitor it more easily. Um, I do think that it was just all crispy, crunchy because it was so dry. Like when I took it out of this pot, um, it was still in the shape of, it was in the shape of the pot um, that it came in, even though it's been living in a different like environment for five months so that was lame um the rhizome is not directly visible um through the potting medium here but there's just a teeny tiny thin layer of perlite and vermiculite really lightweight and um, oxygen will definitely be able to transfer through those so i'm not worried about it suffocating i'm not worried about the airflow um I am hoping that there was no disease though because I did just throw the the old potting mix right into my big box of potting mix and then later I was like I wonder if maybe maybe it was sick um, but we'll see she looks so much better now she's showered she's um, 
it's green. She's not dusty. Here's her little, her little mate, um, the little baby one. There's not such a huge difference between the two now. Um, so I think I will uh, keep you updated. Um, thanks for watching along. And uh, until the next one, keep it messy. Clean your mess up when you're done.